Nice to see you back at Garfin's Creation. Let's make some fruity chicken salad today. These can be had as a salad or also be served in tarts and sandwiches as well. You'll find a detailed recipe in the description box below. So let's begin. To begin with the salad, let's make the dressing first. I have taken half a cup of mayonnaise. To this I'll be adding a little less than half a cup of fresh cream. I will now season this with half a teaspoon of salt. Adjust the salt as per your taste and half a teaspoon of freshly crushed black pepper. Mix all of these so that there are no lumps. Once this is mixed, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of mustard sauce. If you do not like mustard sauce, you can replace that with some chipotle sauce or even tomato ketchup would do. I'll mix this also well. And now it's time to add some boiled veggies and chicken. I have taken some sweet corn, french beans, carrot, potato, green peas and some chicken. All of these have been boiled and I'll be putting them into the dressing. You can add all of these veggies or you can also skip and add any of your favorite veggies too. And along with the chicken, you can also add some boiled eggs or even some cold cuts too. Along with these, I'll be adding some freshly diced fruits. I've taken some black and green grapes, pineapple pieces and some apple pieces too. To make the salad crunchy, you can add any of your favorite nuts too. Just roast and chop those nuts and add it to this dressing. You will find the list of all the ingredients in the description box below. So now I'll just mix this all lightly. After mixing it a little, there's one last ingredient I'll be adding. That is got a teaspoon of powder sugar. The sugar will balance all the flavors of the salad. And so our fruity chicken salad is ready. Let's plate it. You can make the salad ahead and keep it in the fridge too. And then enjoy it with one of your favorite dishes. It goes well in sandwiches and in tarts as well. So don't go away. You'll be filling some tarts along with this. I had recently demonstrated how to use a tart mold. So these are the tarts which I had made using that mold. I'll put the link of some of the tart recipes I have made and which are available on my channel. You can also use some ready-made tarts that are available and also use some canopies as well. I'll be putting all those links in the description box below. I'll be just garnishing these with some carrot and french bean pieces. And so our fruity chicken tarts are now ready. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Garfin's Creation. See you soon in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.